Hey there, and welcome back. I'm going to start making it easy for you to skip directly to the section that you want. You can open the video description for a list of topics that you can jump to. Okay, this challenge is going to use and exercise all of the skills we have covered in the last few videos. You'll practice using vocab we have introduced, method and property syntax structures. You'll need to lean on your debugging skills and the object browser or Google to get the job done. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed and liked. This incremental approach is super effective for long-term retention, meaning it's more likely that you'll remember everything when you need to use it. For those of us feeling more confident, I'm just gonna show you the results of what we want and then you can pause the video and get to work on the macro. But after that, for those of us who appreciate a little more direction, I'll provide a full list of tasks to achieve the desired results. Okay, here we go. So here's the basic scenario. At the end of each month, the sales managers in each of these regions have a call where they go over numbers. They need this report for their call, and they always want the latest numbers, like up to five minutes before the meeting. Currently, admins are tasked with querying the data and formatting this report right before the call, which is stressful, and under those rushed conditions, people make mistakes. So management has asked you to see if you can make one of your cool macros to accomplish this. Eventually, we will have a unique macro for each region, but for today, you're just gonna design the pilot macro for Venezuela's sales manager. In essence, the macro needs to take this and turn it into this. It has the Venezuela's sheet up at the front of the other regional sheets. Each sheet has the unnecessary data from columns A, N, O, and P removed. Each sheet has a couple of rows at the top to make room for a nice formatted title to be inserted. A new sheet was added to the beginning and named Summary, and it has the total sales data from each region. Okay, for those of us who like a challenge and feel ready, pause the video now and get working. For those who appreciate a little bit more direction, as I often do, we are going to start by opening the exercise file in the description of this video. Make a couple of backups of this exercise file so that you can return to scratch if anything gets messed up. And if you do need to scrap an exercise file and go back to one of these backup files, make sure to copy the VBA script and paste it into Notepad or something so that you don't lose all your work when you open the backup copy. Once you've made a couple of copies of the file, insert a module and a procedure and then program a macro to accomplish the following. Start by moving the target worksheet, in this case Venezuela, to the front of the workbook. After that, each sheet requires the following adjustments. Now pretty soon, we're gonna learn how to accomplish these tasks all at once using a loop, which we're gonna learn about in an upcoming video. It's gonna be awesome. But for now, the manual repetition is actually really good for retention. On each one of these sheets, we're gonna remove these unnecessary columns, the segment column, the month number, the month name, and the year. After that, we're gonna add two rows to the top, add the title sales report to A1, and we're gonna make that title bold and underlined. And finally, on each one of these sheets, we're also gonna clear that sale price calculation. It's totally meaningless, so we wanna remove it. After that, we're gonna insert a new worksheet at the very beginning and name it summary. And then we're gonna copy the total sales data from each sheet, which is in I-17 of each sheet, by the way, and we're gonna paste it on the summary sheet. Once you've done that, we're gonna add a title to the summary sheet and add some simple labels for the data. All right, pause this video and try to make a macro that does all these things. Remember to post questions under this video if you get stuck. And if you are successful, go check the comments to see if you can help anyone else through the tough spots. I'll wait a few seconds so you can pause. And after all of that, let's just reflect on the crazy, complex, amazing task you just automated. It's official, you speak VBA. I'm super proud of you and I hope you are proud as well. And of course, there's so much more that you can do coming up next. I'll see you there.